Hi YouTube, this is Maria, Creative Mind for All to See. So I'm here again with my friend Melissa. And this is again three weeks of growth. So we're gonna do take take off all the nail polish and do a, the filling and do a whole different kind of design. But for this video, I'm gonna do a tutorial on of course the filling, but on how to change the regular tip into a stiletto point. Not stiletto point because she don't like it too pointy. But it will be to a point. So stay tuned and I'll be right with you guys, okay? Alright guys, so I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to use my carbide bit, smooth top, to take off the nail polish. I'll show two nails and then I'll finish it out of camera. Do not press too hard down on the nail because it can burn your client. And especially with these kind of bits, you don't need a lot of pressure on on the client's nail. And now only this is only if you have a gel top coat. I have a soak off gel top coat, but since the client has acrylic nails, it wouldn't be the smart thing to do because then it can also soften up the acrylic and I don't want that to happen okay so I have like a little tip and advice I know for all you ladies out there who are nail techs it's very expensive to buy certain things so yesterday I was in Sally's and I found a pack of 48 nail files of 100 180 grit and it was for $30 and all of you ladies who have Sally's and may have a membership for Sally's you might have received a coupon in the mail I went ahead yesterday I used my 15% off and I also purchased other larger files but they're the smaller versions and I only paid $35 for a pair of um, false nail clippers five larger files and 48 files and I, per I paid 30 35 bucks and if you buy them singly and you and you have 48 files you're gonna wind up paying around 50 bucks and you don't want that so look into that okay I'm gonna go ahead and off camera and finish off the rest of the nails and I'll be right with you guys okay all right guys so I'm back there's two ways of doing it oh the hand is already occupied you can take <laughs> They're, these are done already, if you can see. I already took these and I already changed them into points. I used my carbide bit for this one, but you can also use nail clippers as well. So I'm going to show you both ways. I'm going to use this one for my carbide bit, with my carbide bit, and then I'll do the other side with the nail clippers. Okay, so you're going to take your carbide bit, turn your, turn your client's hand slightly, and then from underneath and you go ahead and start filing inwards towards the center of the client's nail. You can do it this way when the acrylic is very thick but being that her acrylic is not that thick you can take the clippers and clip on the side at an angle and clip inwards. Okay and then you take your file 180, 100, 180, and then file. Okay, you're going to repeat e whichever one is more comfortable for you. I recommend the drill if the acrylic is very thick because it can crack the acrylic. Or if your acrylic is not thick, which will make the process a lot faster, is using nail clippers. And you're going to go ahead and file inwards to shape it to your desired desired shape. Okay, you're going to repeat that same process to all of your nails, and once you do so, 
you'll be able to start your cleaning process on your nail to then do your filling. Stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, guys. guys. All right, guys. So I already shaped all the nails, as you can see. Okay, now we're going to clean out the cuticle area. I put um, my Revlon Gentle Cuticle Remover. You can use any cuticle remover that, of your choice. You're going to put in all the cuticles, wait a couple of seconds, and remove. And then you'll be able to go ahead and push back the cuticle. The way that I remove my cuticle cream is spraying the client's hand with some alcohol. Because the alcohol also helps to... For me, I believe it helps me to soften the cuticle up a little bit more. And it also dries up very fast. Because if you use water, you can leave moisture in the client's nail and cause a fungus. And you don't want to do that. So you go ahead and clean off all the cuticles. Take your cuticle pusher and gently push up on your client's cuticle. So to get into the cuticle area up underneath the nail, so then you can remove the cuticle nice, nice and smoothly at a slow speed. This is the bit that I got. And it's called cuticle clean. <laughs> okay, and you're going to go ahead gently. And it's very safe. Doesn't even hurt the client. Does it hurt? No. Feels good. Okay, and you're going to re remove all that dead skin that you have in your client. What I really like about this drill bit, it allows you to go up underneath the client's cuticle and clean it out with no problem. Alright guys, so I'm back. I went ahead and cleaned her cuticles. So I'm going to take my ASP dehydrator. Really nice. It's not strong. Not harsh at all on the nail. And I'm going to apply it on all the nails. And then I'm going to apply, I'm going to start doing my filling. And along the way I apply my 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 primer okay so I'll do one on, on on the screen and then the others I'll complete away from the viewers make the process a little faster now this is one of my many favorite brushes this is this is the 10 ASP precision brush round I, I flatten it out in the tip so it allowed me to flatten this part out I really do love it. I believe one of the subscribers that I have on YouTube asked me where I get what, what kind of brush I was using. That's the kind of brush I had. It looks all worn and torn because I had put some jewels on it and I didn't like the way it came out so I filed off the excess stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same process like the last video that I did. Now this is a full nail that I had to apply on to her nail because this one broke. I put the primer on the whole entire nail. 
do the same process, but this time you're gonna take a little bit more of acrylic. Apply to the stress point first. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same application on the other hand, and I'll be right with you. All right, guys, so I'm back. I already applied all the acrylic on the nails. They're dry. And then you just file in shape as you would on a regular set. Okay? And then I'll show you. I'll, I'll come back the finished product with just regular nails, no nail polish. I'm going to put post another video with the nail art tutorial that I will be doing. And stay tuned hey with guys, the finished so product. Back. And this is the finished product. There you go. Pinky, ring finger, middle finger, pointer, and thumb. You can also see, you can't even notice where I did my fill, my filling. My fill line is not there. There you go. When she first came to see me, her nails were very short, very thin. So our main goal is to make sure her nails grow healthy and strong. And from the looks of it, it's getting there little by little. I hope you guys like this video. And like I always say, this is Maria, Creative Mind for All to See. Comment, like, and or subscribe. And stay tuned for my nail art tutorial. Bye, guys.